five, four, three, two, one. Hello, Paul here, realestatepodcastshow.com. One of the best and most interesting parts of this podcast for me, and hopefully for you, is the soul stories and the histories of the homes across Toronto, across the GTA, across Ontario, uh, and expanding every week into different areas of the country and the world. So today's story is about a property in the Danforth East area. And I want to give you the history of the property. And that's for me, so much more important than the picture so much more important than just the MLS information. This is a property that is uh, an exclusive lease listing of mine. It's not for sale, but it's got such an incredible story behind it. I always love telling the story. I don't, it doesn't matter to me if it's for sale or for rent. What matters to me is that you understand uh, as much as you can about every property that you ever uh, consider for whatever reason, the amount of zeros at the end of that price uh, is up to you. But finding the right properties for the right people, creating a connection for you before you even see the property to me is such an important thing, which is why this is an exclusive part of how my program works. Not only do I, when I'm, um, handling a property for sale, uh, not only do I include, uh, 3d tours, um, and of course, everything to do with being very compliant uh, right now for safety, but also the 3D plus podcast component, which is what this is. So the plus podcast element here is where every house, every loft, every condo deserves a podcast and you do as well. So I hope you will enjoy this next episode. And this is the story of 40 Glebe Home Boulevard in the Danforth East area. This was told to me by my clients, um, as told to them by their, their parents, their, uh, their, the night, almost 92 year old mother. So there's a lot of history in this story and I really want you to enjoy it and stay tuned towards the end for, um, all the amazing upgrades, uh, that they're working on in this property and, uh, everything that you need to know, um, <clears throat> for this property. And anytime you're considering a property with me, this is the kind of detail I put into it, which is why, um, so many of you have uh, been so loyal for so many years. So here's the story as, uh, as, as I've heard it from my client, she says, my parents were looking for a house in this particular neighborhood of Danforth East because my godparents lived on Kathness Avenue and my mother's close cousin lived on Inwood Avenue. My parents frequently came to this neighborhood to visit my godparents and aunt and came to know the neighborhood well. One day, my godfather told my, mother, told my mother that a house on Glebe Home was for sale. The, owner of 40, the owners of 40 Glebe Home were an Italian couple. The husband was in construction and knew my godfather. He did some work in my godfather's house. As soon as my godfather found out the house was for sale, he called the friend's owners and saw the house. He then called my parents and told them to make an offer, and he confirmed the house was in good condition actually excellent condition. The Italian owners built three kitchens in the house, one on each floor. If you do tours with me through the East York Danforth area, you will see a lot of the, um, depending on the age of the home, you'll see a lot of those types of setups where in some cases the main kitchen was in the basement, not on the main floor. This is uh, as an Italian myself, uh, I know this to be true. We had a lot of our family dinners in the basements of our family's homes, never on the top floor. I don't know the reason why, but I'm sure there's something behind it. They also installed porcelain tile in the kitchen, which unfortunately did not last the test of time. This was one of the only houses in the neighborhood at the time to have a finished basement. The fireplace was not used by the previous owners. In fact, they stuffed old newspapers in the fireplace, which my clients discovered during the renovation. My parents never used the fireplace, she said. The therefore, the fireplace has never been used for over 60 years. The chimney's closed and cannot be used as a fireplace. The door that's hanging on the wall in the entry is about 70 years old as well. 
My parents bought the house in the summer of 72. I was six months old when they moved in, she says. This has always been my family home. My parents purchased the house for $32,000. To help pay the mortgage, they rented the second floor, just as the previous Italian owners had. They continued to rent the second floor for many years until I was in high school. When my parents moved in, the neighbors at 44 Glebe Home were already there. They are still there, and they remain good friends. Shortly after my parents moved in, others moved in across the street, and they're still there as well. Over time, many neighbors have moved away, but over the 20 years, past 20 years, a wonderful Indian family moved into the neighborhood, and they own several houses, including the one next door. My mother has been in the neighborhood for a long time and is very well respected. They all miss her very much and the wonderful stories she had to tell. My mother was well known in the neighborhood for her garden, which we hope to revive in the spring. Her rose bush is still in the front garden. And by telling you this story, I hope the story continues for far, far, far longer um, than any anyone to do with the home, including myself, because that's for me why I started this podcast, because of the storytelling element. Uh, let me tell you a few of the things that my clients have planned for this amazing exclusive um, rental, which is, again, only available through me at this time. Uh, and you can go there if you'd like uh, via danforth.realestatepodcastshow.com. We'll take you right to the link for the property. But here's just a few of the things that they've done to this property. Updated electrical with new electrical box. Updated plumbing, including new bathrooms, new ductwork, insulation in the attic, new windows, new open concept main floor with new kitchen, new laundry room in the basement, leveled out the basement floor, new drain in the basement, new bathroom in the basement, new hardwood flooring on the main floor, new blinds, a new shed in the back, new electrical plugs outside, new electric, new light fixtures, extra storage created under the second floor staircase, and the use of the cold room is going to be insulated. Uh, as well. So these are a few of the things that uh, have been done and are being done to this property. So right now I am uh, simply um, connecting with those of you who are interested. Uh, This is going to be probably uh, the most updated home in this area once it's all done. So this will definitely be a place where uh, you'll move in literally and and be moving into an almost new home uh, in a really, really great established area. Um, I've lived in the Danforth East area for um, for over 20 years, since 1998. Uh, So I know it well, I know the people, and I know the properties better than most because I take the time, as I'm doing here, to find out everything I can about those properties. So if you're just as interested in those stories, including maybe the stories of your own property, make sure you head over to danforth.realestatepodcastshow.com, which is my community site for this area. Uh, And if you'd like to know just the history of your property, Um, I've got another site for that, which is homehistory.realestatepodcastshow.com. Hopefully you found this interesting. And again, if you have any questions for me on any level uh, and you want to have your story shared here as well, let's talk.